Okay, you guys, listen. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the third video today. I promise I will leave you guys alone for a while after this. Well, maybe like a day or two. Um, but this is part two of the Opposites Attract deck, which I'm actually having fun running. Uh, I want to explain this deck a little bit more before we get into two matches. We're going to watch two matches, okay? Uh, I left a full guide in the description below. It's a link to the subreddit. Please, if you're not part of the Reddit community, please join the Reddit community. There is a plethora of information in regards to Pokemon Duel. Just so much stuff. Okay, so please, please join in. Uh, but anyway, let's talk about the deck. <clears throat> the figures that I have and the plates that I have. And this is the beauty right here. So we got the we got the scissor, we got the scyther, and then we got the scissor. The only reason we have the scyther is to give the plus ten damage, the plus ten buff to the scissor. We got the toad, the toad, his key roll in this deck is just to poison everything. We've got the um, empoleon and the heat ran because they are steel types, and they are good to prevent early rushes, cheesy surrounds. And just when you have your uh, entry points taken, they're just they're they're really good defensively. <clears throat> Crobat to add that additional negative twenty damage on top of the bonds that are already po already poisoned. So you guys know we all know who the number one one two punch is. That's Coco and Zap. The next one it's got to be Crobat and uh, Seismic Toad because the Coco Zap plus thirty damage, Crobat Seismic Toad negative forty damage. It's just that good. And then we have Solgaleo. Solgaleo is there again. It's another steel type mon, and it actually is good as a defender. Um, he's actually saved my goal a few times. Although after running this deck a couple times, I've run this deck probably six times. First match I got obliterated, uh, but I've ran it six times. I've won the majority of the games. I think I won four. Um, and the other one that I lost, I could have won. It I could have won. It could have went either way, and it was against a really good deck, and I'm going to show you guys that video. Uh, so here's the plates. Max revive. Max revive is primarily for it's primarily for the uh, Empoleon and the Heat Ran. In the event they are in the PC and your uh, entry points are taken, Max Revive, use them. But also, uh, the um, Scizor. Scizor has the. Uh, the uh, hold on, let me go into the figures real quick. Scizor has that if the ability, the Steel Breaker, if an opponent hits for 130 or more they do have the correct marker now if my scissor lands on any attack he gets ko'd and if they have that marker i can you know try to revenge max revive and attack them i don't take damage if i hit my white and they get ko'd instead that's that's just another option but primarily you want to use max revive specifically for uh empoleon and heat ran um go back to the plates Still energy, still energy, plus 10 damage on my highest attack. Poison Blade. Poison Blade's kind of interchangeable. I just use Poison Blade 1 for fun and 2 uh, just to utilize another mon that causes poison. So it's not just Seismato that causes poison. Gold Block, Gold Block, and Metal Coat. Metal Coat, Metal Coat, Metal Coat. It's so useful here uh, because if you use it on my Scizor, until the end of the duel, battle opponents of the Pokemon you choose or the Pokemon that evolved from it have the effects of their abilities that increase or decrease attack damage nullified. So this means when Coco attacks into me, he doesn't get plus 30. When Null attacks into me, I don't get negative. I don't get half the damage. It's super useful, and this adds plus 10 to my Scizor. So this plus the um, Steel Energy, my Scizor hits for 120, 80, and when I'm when the rest of the mons are poisoned and um, Crobat is on the on the field, negative 40 is going to cripple any mon in the meta. But okay, enough of me ranting. I think that's a good explanation of the deck. Let's jump into the matches that I've saved. First one. Uh, two, seven, six. Seven, 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 one, two, two. 
I'm going to try and commentate this as best I can because everything moves fast. But I just wanted to take a look at the deck that I'm going against. We have Double Lunala. Okay, Double Lunala, and we have a Psychic deck. So I'm pretty much outmatched here. So we're just going to watch how everything goes. I'm going to play a little defensive. I want to set the matches up. Brings up Solgaleo. And I bring up my Heat Ram because, you know, what Heat Ram does. I, we're, we're basically using him primarily for his, uh, his purple attack. And he brings up the DOA, which is fine. I am glad to put uh, Seismo Toe to match him. Uh, I was scared. I didn't want that Lunala to attack me, so I did that. And I wasn't afraid of Lunala taking my entry point because what I'm going to do here is I'm going to X speed and we're going to go straight after that Lunala. And boom. Hit a fortunate roll. Very fortunate roll there. And plus, because of the still energy, I would have taken him out even if he, la if he landed on his wipe. So now I take this opportunity. Let's metal coat. Let's get that scissor on the board. My scissor's plus 20 now. My opponent brings up. I'm like, I'm not afraid. I have I have good matches with Seismitoad and Scizor. So he decides to take my entry point and attacks my Scizor, but is unaware of the metal coat. GG boys to your uh, knowledge. And we have double knowledge are both gone. However, my opponent does have the max revive, and I was like, man, if we could have just had both Lunala's gone, things would have been good. Um, I don't like the Lunala and Solgaleo matchup, so I'm like, I am getting out of there. I don't want that. I would rather attack with my, uh, I'd rather my, uh, Heat Rant be there. But my opponent attacks and, uh, get a, get a good roll there. But he, I end up getting the dodge, but guess what? This man is negative 40 now. Look at that. 97 a DOA at 97 that is incredible and Seismitoad always I mean when you're running Seismitoad you run the risk of your own Mons getting uh, a miss but it didn't happen here and I'm okay with this matchup right here because I hit for 120 he hits for 97 I'm okay with this roll hit the dodge he's gonna re-roll me all I gotta do is hit my white and that's pretty good I mean I have a 67% of hitting a neutral turn but I get the bullet punch man wasn't too excited about that and here I did the cardinal rule we don't do the revenge max revive and put it there again because i was okay with the risk of him attacking again and me hitting the way i'm like okay this is good now just hit it again for me or at least hit the dodge and it happens and i shouldn't have done it but like i said i was okay with running that risk at that point uh, opponent brings on lunala uh, and i hate the lunala but i was like I ha i'm gonna we're gonna get rid of this lunala we're gonna status condition it Roll a miss. Uh, does, does not feel good. Does not feel good at all. But now Sol or Solgaleo is uh, poison, and now I have to take the entry point, and now I just have to... Things have to go in my favor. He doesn't attack me, which is fine, and now I, I can play a little more defensively. And, uh, yeah, because my Crobat is gone, now he hits for plus 10 than what he was previously hitting, so he's for 117. But now, uh, Heat Ran's on the board or on the bench, and now I can freely use my ability to go after this Lunala. Hit the fortune roll there, but he also hits his purple. We're going to do it again. Got it. Got it. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I necessarily agree with this play because I can definitely bring on my heat ran next. But I think, oh well, yeah, I don't, I don't know why. Maybe he just forgot what. I mean, I just did. I don't, I don't know what he was thinking because there was no benefit to him losing a bond like that. Uh, but to each their own. And uh, because he's burned, because he his ability, he's status condition. It doesn't work, and uh, things are looking good for me. I really wanted to attack the Lunala, but for some reason I got scared. And uh, I get a fortunate roll here. But then I get the dodge. This DOA was annoying me this game. I think he re-rolls me, and I'm pretty sure I hit the white this time. Yeah, too bad. Well, I guess it, yeah, there's, he couldn't have got the, the cracked marker. But it doesn't matter. DOA is gone. Look at that. Just gone. Take this entry point and uh, get rid of his Solgaleo. 
But he, he lands the same attack, so now I'm gone as well. And now he's got both Lunalas on the board, and I am not liking this at all. I can't remember if I have my goal block still. But I decided to poison this Lunala. And here, all I have to do is survive a roll, and I don't. But he is now poisoned as well, and I'm yeah, I do have the mat or I do have the goal block in the back, so I'm still fine. Things are still good. And then here, I uh, I debated on going back with my uh, seismitoad, but. I was like, I, I have an opportunity. I'm, I'm just gonna do this. If I went back, I would have been out of position. But I don't get the fortunate roll here. I, I don't know. I, what do you guys think? I figured the best. I figured my best shot was to be aggressive there. Didn't work out for me. He DCs. Gets the moon guy's beam, and I'm like, ah, that's annoying. But Solgaleo is still on the bench. I'm like Solgaleo. Let's go, buddy. You gotta get it for me. Double Moon Guys Beams. Double Moon Guys Beams. And, uh, that is GG Boys to your boy Rico. Um, yes, I lost that match, and, uh, but I, I just wanted to show you, uh, how Scizor handled that match and how the deck alone handled that match. I mean, I had an opportunity. Roll just didn't go my way at the very end. Um, but, I mean, it, it's still a good match, and... I think in my normal league deck, I don't think I would have done as well. So that's one match. Let's jump into the second one. Two, seven, five, eight, seven, five, two, six, seven. I don't really remember much about this match. <clears throat> Hopefully it shows my point of view this time. Good, it shows my point of view. Meta-ish deck, we got the Sep, we got the Nala. We got the Rollet. Rollet's always scary. And Mimikyu. I don't like Mimikyu. I was debating what I wanted to do there. Um, and now I'm scared of this. I'm scared of this Gengar because I'm pretty sure he has Mega Gengar. But he attacks me. Oh, I remember this match. So, my man is poisoned. He is negative 40. So, first thing I'm going to do is just protect the entry point. If he wants us to top over, he gets surrounded. I decide to attack here because... This Gengar is negative 40. I'm not worried about what comes on the, the left side. I'm like, we just got to take off this Gengar because he hits for 60. Not much you can do there. Not much you can do there. And then the opponent goes... I, I don't know why he just wasn't aggressive there. I don't know why he pulled the switch. I did not want to pit... I did put Scizor here, but I was kind of scared. Like, I wanted to attack just to get the evolution, but I was also scared at the same time. So that's why I did it. And I move back here. I'm just trying to bait my opponent. I'm like, just take the entry point. I mean, my opponent knows what it does. So I'm just going to kind of chill, play my plates, wait for them to make a mistake. Attacks the heat ran, and I'm like, get that. Ooh. And he takes. He decides to go over me, which is fine. Um, because now I can start advancing. And then this happens, and I'm like, okay, now I'm in a predicament. How are we going to do this? Decided to use my Solgaleo because my Solgaleo, I think, has the best shot at surviving Mega Gengar because of that Sun Steel Strike. And here, I have a great opportunity, I have a great chance to take out this Rollet. That scared me. So I took him out. Now I threaten game. And then if he doesn't protect the Mimikyu, Mimikyu is dead. It's KO'd. But he's smart. And here, I decide to threaten his Gengar. And for some reason, he attacks with Sceptile. I'm not sure why. Maybe he wanted to try and get the... I don't, I don't I don't. know what his thought process was, but it enables me to get rid of this Gengar. I'm glad he did not attack there. I was scared. I don't know why he did not attack that. Mistakes. Mistakes, my friend. I max revived here because I did not want that DOA... I wanted the DOA to be uh, poisoned, and he attacks when I have a great opportunity to wall him. Dude, tonight, Lunalas were just rampant at hitting Moonguy's beam. Like, it just made me pretty sad. But like I said, when you run Seismitoad, you run the risk. But sometimes, 
it works out in your favor, and that Lunala is gone. Oh, XP tier, because I want to get the disguise off of, uh... Can't think of his name. Mimic you, but we get a neutral roll there, and I was pretty upset. My opponent wants to XP of his own. He wants to go after this, and I'm like, please, 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 please... But, it's okay, because I've got this Ogalio as my goal. Risk right here, huge risk, could have landed, stealth hit, could have ended game. I thought about being defensive and moving the uh, Empoleon first, but I was like, uh, if I do, he's probably just going to advance, and I didn't want him to advance, so yeah, that was a huge risk, huge risk, but it worked out in my favor. Uh, don't know why you did this, because I have that huge blue, and you have that huge purple. And guess what? Now we say GG boys to Gengar again. Either way, he would have got surrounded next turn. Opponent's being a little offensive. If you're going to be a little offensive, I'm going to be a little bit aggressive. And I know he still has... I, so I brought Solgaleo closer, just in the event the DOA wanted to be aggressive and attack my uh, Empoleon. And if he did, I would have had no way of protecting the goal. So I'm not sure why my opponent did not do that. But we got the disguise off of the Mimikyu, and I'm happy about that. But Lunala is a monster. Lunala is an absolute monster. So, uh, yeah, I need to survive this roll. I need you to survive this roll for me. <sighs> Thank you, Steel Energy. Like I said, he's come through for me. So now it's just time I'm like, alright. It's time for Scissor to shine. And I'm like, this is the best opportunity. Let's go. Let's go! And we got a nice win with Scizor. My opponent, yeah, I just... I don't know. I'm pretty, I think I win this roll. Because it's on strike, like I said, he saves me. Can you guys see McKenna in the back? She's kind of just chilling on the couch. Like I said, she's feeling a little better, so... Oh, good. But anyway, we win, and that is GG, boys. So I just wanted to show you guys that deck. I know there's still a lot of testing I need to do. I've only played... Uh, six matches. I want to play at least 10 to 15. Things that I, I... I don't know if I told you guys earlier, but I've, I'm thinking about putting Gengar in for Solgaleo. And if I do, I might add the uh, the Phantom Energy. So I'd get rid of the Poison Blade and I don't know if I really want to get rid of the X-Speed, but I don't know. Something something to think about. What do you guys think? Uh, any questions about this deck? What to put in instead of, of like a figure if you don't have or a different plate, let me know your suggestions in the comments below. But we're going to cut it there. Like I said, I gave you guys three videos today. I hope you enjoyed all of them. I'm going to take a break for at least a day, maybe, unless something good happens. But until then, peace.